are, t there are two ways that I think you can use a treble booster correctly and one way that's incorrect. And I know that there's no incorrects, but I'm telling you, but you're still saying but it. I'm telling you there's an incorrect way to do it. Um, and uh, you don't want to, the incorrect way is running a treble booster into a clean amp. I want the moonshot to, to, to boost the light speed. Uh, the other thing, and with this pedal in particular, this is a super transparent drive, like really, really transparent. So Fender Amp has a mid-scoop DQ, which is great, that's the Fender sound, but if you don't always want that, the moonshot will add some mids that you wouldn't normally have out of a Fender Amp. And one thing I like to use it for a lot is, um, you know, in a, in a band setting, you know, where I'm doing kind of rhythm, stuff like that, and then I want to step out for a second and, you know, choose a spot where I can pop out. The Moonshot is a great way to do that because it'll, instead of stepping out with just volume, you're stepping out with volume and mids. <laughs> Obviously, want to make these videos like more, you know, about outside of ourselves. But that said, it just—I don't know anyone that cares more about uh, treble boosters, <laughs> yeah, or germanium boosters than you. So yeah, it—it it didn't seem fair to <laughs> to sure. take it away from you. Yeah. <coughs> so you know, I think when we think of when we think of treble boosters. Uh, we almost automatically think of the Dallas Range Master because that was, you know, it was the Rory Gallagher, the Brian May. That was the Tony Iommi to a lesser extent because his was modded. But that's the sound that we hear because uh, it was the most famous one. It was, uh, it was the most used one. And uh, the Range Master had a very distinct sound to it um, because amps then, we didn't have high powered amps. Uh, so when you turned all the way up, you got a lot of low end. The AC30s and Plexis had a lot of low end. So the range master would chop the low end off, give you a little bit of a high mid bump, and then add some saturation. This is probably a little bit closer to the Hornby Skews than the range master, but at the same time, it is still not. So uh, what are the players that you associate with the horns beat? Uh, Richie Blackmore. That's it. And me. It's good, good enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the, the Hornby Skews was a little bit fuller. <laughs> Thank you. 